Welcome to this edition of the El Segundo City Council Recap. I'm your host, Katherine Chen. Let's take a look at the items presented to the El Segundo City Council at their February 7, 2023 meeting. During special presentations, City Council proclaimed February Black History Month and urged citizens to make this month a period of rededication to the principles of justice and equality for all people. Christina Vazquez Fajardo, chair of the Diversity, Equity and Inclusion Committee, accepted the proclamation. Police Chief Jaime Bermudez recognized the 14 graduates of the Citizen Police Academy, a 10-week program culminating in participation of a police academy scenario. Chief Bermudez also recognized the three officers who run the program, Sergeant Eric Atkinson, Detective Jeremy Glunt, and School Resource Officer Josh Gilberts. Following public communications, City Manager Daryl George gave an update on the city's efforts to address the ongoing odors and noxious gases coming from the Hyperion Water Reclamation Plant. On January 25th, city staff participated in the AQMD board hearing regarding Hyperion. Out of this meeting, AQMD issued a robust expanded order of abatement to Hyperion, including 28 additional conditions, which, if implemented, should result in the odor nuisance being resolved and measures to ensure that it does not happen again. Read the city's public statement and summary of the expanded order of abatement on the city's website. LA City Board of Public Works approved a motion to expedite the refurbishment of Hyperion's primary clarifiers battery B, C, and D. Hyperion now expects completion of the refurbishment by June 2024. The city continues to work with local legislators Senator Ben Allen, Assemblymember Al Mirasucci, and Congressman Ted Lieu to introduce legislation that will directly impact the issues at Hyperion. City staff and the city attorney are meeting with the Los Angeles City Attorney's Office on February 17th to discuss Hyperion. The city has secured a third-party expert in wastewater treatment plants to assist the city regarding Hyperion. Information about Hyperion can be found at the city's website at elsegundo.org slash Hyperion. During public hearings, Community Development Director Michael Allen presented a resolution for a new 2023-2024 Community Development Block Grant project entitled El Segundo Library Park American with Disabilities Act Compliant Pathway Project, which will utilize an estimated $140,000 in CDBG funds to create an ADA-compliant accessible pathway in El Segundo Library Park, thereby increasing pedestrian mobility throughout the park. When presented last month, Council expressed concerns about the handrails obstructing use of the park and being a hazard to children at play. Director Allen clarified that the purpose of this resolution is to approve the allocation of the funds and that the design of the pathway and handrails will be submitted to City Council for approval at a later date. City Council adopted the resolution. During staff presentations, Director of Recreation, Parks and Library, Ali Mancini, and Cultural Arts Coordinator, Sam Lee, presented potential locations for wall murals selected by the Arts and Culture Advisory Committee for approval by City Council. All of the locations presented are city-owned and included areas at the Clubhouse, Jocelyn Center, Water Operations off Maryland Street, Fire Station 1, El Segundo Public Library, and the Pergola in Library Park. Funding for this project will come from the Cultural Development Program. City Council requested that the rights of murals belong to the city and not the artists and that the designs be submitted to Council for approval. With the exception of the pergola and library park and areas affected by the planned recreation, parks and library renovation, City Council approved all of the potential locations. During committees, commissions, and boards presentations, Mayor Drew Boyles announced the appointment of Valerie Green to the Diversity, Equity and Inclusion Committee. During reports, City Treasurer Matthew Robinson presented a quarterly summary of the investment portfolio as of December 2022. City Council received and filed the report. Councilmember Baldino introduced a request to form an ad hoc City Council Committee to coordinate actions for high improvements at Hyperion. City Council approved the formation of the ad hoc committee and selected Council Members Baldino and Perstuck to serve on the ad hoc committee. Mayor Boyles announced City Council member assignments to serve on committees for various intergovernmental and local agencies. After discussion and some modifications, City Council approved the appointments. Mayor Boyles asked Council to consider retaining a public relations firm to assist with communications related to Hyperion. City Council approved the request. Finally, City Council closed the meeting in honor and memory of former Mayor Sandy Jacobs, who was a lifelong, dedicated public servant and the first female to serve as the mayor of the city of El Segundo. Services will be held on February 18th at 2 p.m. at United Methodist Church in El Segundo. Please visit the city's website to read the full memorial. 
To watch the complete City Council meeting for February 7, 2023 and learn more about the agenda items covered, visit elsegundo.org or watch the meeting on Channel 3. The next City Council meeting will be on Tuesday, February 21, 2023.